Okay, so as I was checking out some news articles, I saw that um, there was stuff that talked about uh, some Ukrainian soldiers were using bullpups. Now, when I first saw it, I saw that they had something that appears to be an AK variant of a bullpup. And then they also had some of these. The thing is that their marking has a different piece on here, which, you know, after a little bit more research, I saw that uh, they were actually using some type of agreement that they had with um, IWI. And theirs are actually the same one was called the Fort 221. And looking at them, they had all types of different designations, but it seemed to be a lot of the IWI weapons were Fort 222, Fort 223. There's a good video that explains a lot of the differences, but this is definitely something that they were using. It just had a different designation. Now, the advantage to using something like this is that you still have a small package, but rather than switching to something with a shorter barrel, for instance, you could do this with an AR almost, but this is an, a 10 and a half inch barrel with a pin and welded muzzle brake, making it a 12 and a half inch. So this is what's called an other, other firearm in New Jersey. But what it is is that you lose a lot of, um, basically you go from 16 inches to a 10 and a half inch barrel. So you would lose a lot of velocity behind that. And what it is, is by being able to keep a 16 inch barrel and having a bullpup version, which means that the action takes place back here where the magazine goes and the bolt picks up the extra round, the chamber, everything happens further back. It usually makes for a uh, horrible trigger, but this is a upgraded Geisley trigger pack and trigger bow, which makes it pretty well. But um, there, there's a different upgrades you can do for it. It, it has an advantage to having a shorter weapon so that you can still like move in tight spaces. And the 16-inch uh, barrel, which would give the round enough velocity, well, not enough, but the velocity that it should have in its 16-inch barrel to where you would have a regular carbine or rifle with the 16-inch barrel, you would see how much longer it is. So you still have the same, basically, uh, what's called dwell time or enough enough of a, of a barrel that would give the round velocity and uh, you get better range with the longer barrel <clears throat> rather than switch to a shorter package, which you lose velocity in the shorter barrel. This retains that 16 inch barrel. It just sits further back. So that's an explanation of what a, a bullpup is. There's a lot of different kinds. And I was surprised to see that they had their own, uh, their own uh, company making the Tavors, this is basically a Tavor uh, SAR, which uh, the first one that they made, but it's also, theirs is called the Fort 221. It's the same thing. I was surprised to see that they were actually using it. And uh, that's it for this video, but uh, I'll keep some other uh, better reviews and stuff coming up soon. Thanks guys. Like and subscribe.